And tonight, we begin the action here in the Queen City of the South in Lapu Lapu City in Cebu, Philippines. We are inside the Hoop Dome and we welcome you to the playoffs of the ASEAN Basketball League season number nine, Rise to Greatness. After 140 regular season games, we are down to the last eight standing. And tonight, the last two champions of the ABL will square off here in the first round. It's number two versus number seven. San Miguel Ala Pilipinas going up against Hong Kong Eastern. The defending champions will start their title defense tonight. Thank you so much for catching the action live on SNA. We also have it on SNA HD. My name is Martin Javier. Tonight, I'm working alongside the one and the only Mr. Mikey Reyes. Mike, good evening. I'm sure you are very excited to get started with playoff action here in the ABL. What a way to start, of course, the playoffs of Season 9 of the ABL. This is going to be an exciting matchup. This is going to be an exciting start to the series. And all the Filipinos here in Cebu are raring to go. And I'm sure also the fans of Hong Kong back in Hong Kong are also tuned in here today. We kickstart the playoffs tonight. But before we go into the details here, let's take a look at first the different brackets that we have here. Top eight teams. And I believe we have the perfect matchups for each bracket here, Mikey. Well, exciting, exciting playoffs as we have, as we see the Formosa Dreamers. Actually, the biggest turnaround in ABL 9. They finished last last year, but now they with a with a late run during the elimination round, they finished in they finished in first place and they will go up against the Mono Vampire. Actually struggled to start the season, but it was quick changes for their imports. they right. they found their groove and now they're in the playoffs. We also have the CLS Knights. Indonesia will go up against Saigon Heat. That's gonna be an exciting series for themselves. And the X-Man led Singapore Stingers will go up against the Anthony Tucker less Macau Black Bears. That's exciting. Also, we'll see in the next few weeks how that series will go. But the most important thing right now, why we are here, the mm. San Miguel Ala Pilipinas finishing the elimination round in second place, leaning on Parks Bachman and of course PJ Ramos will go up against the new trio for Hong Kong. We have Michael Holyfield, Marcus Elliott, and ODB Odarius Bassett. There you go. That is the situation right now here in the ABL playoffs. But before we go into the details here, let's uh, turn you over first. My name is Martin Avier and Mikey Reyes breaking this game down. And now let's turn you over to the Coliseum announcer for the team introduction. Number two, Marcus Ryan Elliott. Number three, Key Lee. Number six, Yik Lu Chan. Number eight, Xiu Wing Chan. Number 10, Ricky Yang. Number 15, Odarian Richard Bassett. Number 16, Adam Su. Number 21, Man Chun Lam. Number 24, Kin Fan Xiu. Number 29, Chun Sing Chung. Number 55, Michael Kevin Holyfield. Number 88, Tzu Lai Lao. Their head coach is Edward Torres. Ladies and gentlemen, the visiting Hong Kong Eastern. Welcome to the Hoops Dome here in Lapu Lapu City, Cebu. It's the playoffs of your ASEAN Basketball League. It's the Hong Kong Eastern versus your Ala Pilipinas. I love Cebu. I love Cebu. I love Pilipinas. With the entire lineup of your San Miguel, Ala Pilipinas. Number one, Bobby Ray Parks Jr. Number two, Joshua Orvistondo. Number five, Kaylin De Young Zon. Number six, Jandre Alonso. Number nine, Rashley Rivero. Number 13, Nico Paolo Havilona. 
Number 22, Brandon Roser. Number 24, Christopher. the national anthem. Ang pambansang awit ng Pilipinas. Back to the coverage, this is your ASEAN Basketball League season number nine, Rise to Greatness, San Miguel Ala Pilipinas versus Hong Kong Eastern number two versus number seven as we begin and welcome the playoffs here in ABL9 and Ala Pilipinas will be starting their title defense tonight against Hong Kong Eastern trying to go for back-to-back -back championships here in the ABL, Mikey. And you guys have Martin Aviar, Mikey Reyes doing this game. And let's take a look at not the ideal uh, end to the season for San Miguel Ala Pilipinas, but uh, they, they, they slid down to the number two spot, ending the season with 18 and 8 and on a four game losing streak. Well, like what you said, Martin, not the best way to finish the season, but you know, they had enough cushion for this four game skid, and you have to consider that they missed out on a lot of players due to injury. Lawrence Domingo is actually out for, for the season. They lost Brandon Rosser for a while. Ronaldo Balkman was out for the first three games in that four-game skid. Uh, Kaylin Chongson was suspended against Saigon. Right. And PJ Ramos, I believe, was given a little bit of rest in their last game. But of course, still, they had the number one spot for most part of the elimination round. But they end up at number two under Formosa. And they will have to go up against uh, their rivals. They've, they've gone up against Hong Kong a lot of times. And it's always a good matchup going up against the Hong Kong Eastern basketball team. Now, if there's a main positive uh, with that happening to San Miguel Ala Pilipinas, it's the other guys gaining confidence. Guys like Prince Rivero, Thomas Torres gaining playing time and also Oping Sumalinog for San Miguel Ala Pilipinas. But uh, the local, back-to-back -back local MVP here in ABL9, Bob Ray Parks Jr., has shifted into another gear here in the season. He, has a, he had a slow start, Mikey, but slowly but surely he was able to get his numbers and he was also very efficient on the floor in doing that. Well, Bobby Ray Parks Jr., like what you said, two-time uh, MVP here in the ABL, uh, the finals MVP last year to win that championship. Had to, was forced right. to activate playoff mode early with 16 points a game, 4.4 rebounds, 3.4 assists. And we all know that the locals here for Ala Pilipinas can play on this level. So 
it was a good uh, it was a good time for them to get time on the court, to get minutes on the court, to get reps. But they will have to rely again on Bobby Ray Park Jr. I'm sure he is also relieved that he has his his boys back. Right. <laughs> he has PJ Ramos, Kaylan Chongson back in the lineup here for San Miguel Ala Pilipinas. But on the other side for Hong Kong Eastern, the visiting squad here, Marcus Elliott is still the main guy for this team. Mikey still putting up world import like numbers or world import MVP like numbers here in ABL9. Well, year in, year out, this guy Marcus Elliott has always been a uh, force to be reckoned with here in the ABL and he has always produced for Hong Kong in the past few years that he's been here. 22.8 points a game, close to eight rebounds, close to six assists. What a stat line there, what averages for Marcus Elliott, but he will have to also get help from his other world imports. Uh, this is like what we said, this is the first time that these three players will go up against Ala Pilipinas. So this right. will be a different dynamic that, that Ala Pilipinas will have to go up against. We will see how Ala can adjust and how also uh, Hong Kong has prepared for PJ Ramos and Ronaldo Bachman. And Hong Kong Eastern had to go or had to undergo a lot of injuries, had to deal with a lot of injuries, changes here in the season. But the main solid guy for them has been Marcus Elliott. And he will be key here for Hong Kong Eastern if they want to beat the number two team, San Miguel Ala Pilipinas. Now we take a look at uh, their four meetings. It was won by San Miguel Ala Pilipinas. The season series went to Ala 3 1, but the last game going to Hong Kong Eastern on their home floor there in Wan Chai. Well, that's what we were saying. A good start for Ala Pilipinas, getting three wins against Hong Kong. But then again, Hong Kong knows that they can compete against this Alep team just because of that one game that they just won. That is the most recent game also that they w went up against each other. So we'll see. This is the playoffs. Uh, a lot more in stake. And the, the scouting reports and all the tendencies have been studied further for this series. So we will see how both teams can adjust to this game here in Cebu. And in that game, PJ Ramos did not play for San Miguel Ala Pilipinas with food poisoning and Coach Edu Torres used a combination of Sam De Guara and Michael Holyfield with Marcus Elliott in that lineup and De Guara and Holyfield got 51 rebounds Mikey in that <laughs> game. That's just crazy uh, for this Hong Kong Eastern squad. But obviously the texture of this team, the play of this team will be slightly different with Holyfield, ODP, and of course, Marcus Elliott leading the way. Well, Hong Kong's version of the Twin Towers had their way against uh, Ala Pilipinas in their last game. But like what you said, now that Bassett is back in the lineup and they had to let go of Sam De Guara, it's going to be a different dynamic. But it'll be the guards of Ala that will have to push right. through. But they will also, they will always rely on these two, Hammer and Anvil. They go together, peanut butter and jelly. Ronaldo Bachman and PJ Ramos both averaging big double-doubles of their own. 25, 26 points a game for Ronaldo Bachman along with close to 11 rebounds for PJ Ramos, 20 and 13. So these two guys will still be the focal point of Ala Pilipinas, but their, their guys from the outside will have to play tough defense, especially going up against the two-guard combo of Odarian Bassett and Marcus Elliott. And Ronaldo Bachman with that mask on uh, tonight for the second straight game ever since returning to the lineup for San Miguel Ala Pilipinas, you see here the Hulk, PJ Ramos getting some shots up after not playing their last game against the Saigon Heat. And here is his matchup at the center position. Michael Holyfield, the, uh, well, veteran. He, this is a journeyman, played in the G League, played in China, played in Taiwan, and now he makes his way here in the ASEAN Basketball League. And he is the perfect complement, I believe, in the center position if you have ODB and Marco Zelliot handing the ball and he does most a, of the time. And he does a better job of running the floor. I think that was the biggest difference, especially Sam Teguara was used to a slow-paced game. He wanted the ball inside. He wanted a more a defense that will go through him. But here with, uh, with the adjustment and Michael Holyfield will come in, we will see how they will complement each other. But I'm sure they've had a few practices, a few... A few games already together, right. but Michael Holyfield will have to guard or will have to match up against PJ Ramos the whole game because yeah. the last time they went up against each other, he had Sam De Guara to share the the paint with him against PJ Ramos. This time it'll be PJ Ramos against Michael Holyfield for the for most of this game. And you saw earlier the mask of Ronaldo Bachman with the colors of the Philippine flag. <laughs> that's yellow, blue, and red. That's right. how much he loves the Philippines that's now, right. though. Ronaldo Bachman. <laughs> He loves the Filipino fans. He loves being here and he loves being part of San Miguel Ala Pilipinas. There you go. That's a, a perfect shot there. 
the mask man. Yeah. Two mask here. men now for San Miguel Ala Pilipinas, the other one being Bobby Ray Parks Jr. That's a nice uh, look to oh, yeah. Bulk Mania here. It would have been nice if PJ Ramos had a mask on, yeah. just even though he doesn't have an injury. <laughs> 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 but you talk about uh, Ray Ray Parks also. Yeah. This. It will be a big key here for San Miguel Ala Pilipinas. But at this point, let's turn you over again to the Coliseum announcer for another round of team introductions. Ladies and gentlemen, at this point in time, we'd like to call on the City Tourism Chief on behalf of Mayor Paz Sierra Daza. Ladies and gentlemen, let's meet the starting five for the visiting Hong Kong Easter. Number two, Marcus Ron Elliott. Number three, Key Lee. Number 15, oh, Darren Richard Bassett. Number 24, Kim Fan Su. And number 55, Michael Kevin Holyfield. And now, let's meet the starting five for your San Miguel Ala Filipinas. Number one, Bobby Ray Parks Jr. Number five, Kayla D. Young Son. Number 25, Ethan Alvaro. Number 34, Reynaldo Balkman. And the man in the middle, the center of attraction, number 36, Peter John Ramos. The officials from Singapore, Chuen Wing Leong. From Indonesia, Budi Marvan. From Malaysia, Wei Chuen Chu. Back to the coverage here, starting unit. Uh, for both sides here, Alvano, Parks, Ramos, Bachman, and Chong Son for San Miguel Ala Pilipinas. They're finally back to their usual starting unit here. And uh, they're going to be up against Bassett, Lee Ki, Michael Holyfield, John Shu with a start here for Hong Kong Eastern. And of course, the main guy, Marcus Elliott for Coach Edu Torres and the rest of the squad visiting Hong Kong Eastern team. And 
Once again, we make our way here inside Hoops Dome in Lapu Lapu City in Cebu. And we welcome you to the playoffs of the ASEAN Basketball League season number nine, Rise to Greatness. Number two versus number seven, San Miguel Ala Pilipinas, 18 and eight to end the regular season. Hong Kong Eastern 13 and 13 in our elimination round. So a few laughs here <laughs> as we do the jump ball between PJ Ramos and Michael Holyfield. Could be the last laugh we'll be having here though. Oh yes. It's about to start the competition. It's about to start. This is the playoffs here in ABL 9. So this is a great start here in Cebu. I'm sure Coach Jimmy Alapag of Ala Pilipinas is very, very happy and uh, finally relieved that his usual starting five is yeah. back on the floor all together again. But again, this is the first time that they will go up against this combination of Bassett, Marcus Elliott, and Holyfield. And it's been a while since they've been healthy. Talking about San Miguel Ala Pilipinas. And we all know what they can do when they are in full health. And uh, that's a foul right away on Michael Holyfield as he was trying to prevent PJ Ramos in that sequence. I'm sure Michael Holyfield is used to being the biggest, tallest guy on the floor when he's up against other teams. Mm -hmm. But when you go up against Ala Pilipinas, you'll have to go up against the Hulk PJ Ramos. So Holyfield right away on the first possession, committing his first foul. Uh, this is a good matchup. Lee Key against Ray Parks early on here. Kaelin Chong Son going to Ronaldo Bogman as we begin play here in the first quarter. Alvano, they go to Ronaldo Bogman on the short stop. No go. Holyfield with a rebound for Hong Kong Eastern. Nice pick and roll there. Looking for Ronaldo Bogman right away is Alvano to get him in his rhythm, find his rhythm early. ODB, oh, the poke and the takeaway by Alvano. Here is Parks on the move, Ray Ray all the way. Defense to offense, Ethan Alvano known for pressuring the basketball. Getting that ball from Otarian Bassett and Ray Parks finishing the play with the first two points of the ball game. And that's a way to start the ball game and your playoff and your title defense for San Miguel Ala Pilipinas. The steal and the score, here is Bassett. To a score, John Shu unable to catch the pass. And a bit of color right away yeah. <laughs> and like what you said those are the last laps that we're gonna happen to start this ball game we are not even a minute and a half in and pj ramos and holyfield starting to get chippy inside <laughs> you gotta love this matchup this heavyweight matchup down low <laughs> ramos and holyfield as they continue to talk to each other, Kaelin Chong Son is getting in between them. Also, Ray Ray Parks. Because they all know that how important these two pieces are for right. for both teams, and they wouldn't want to lose either of them. But cooler heads prevail as <laughs> they continue to exchange words here <laughs> as we speak. <laughs> but here's the early pressure put up by Hong Kong Eastern. Odarian Bassett will be tasked to guard. A very crafty point guard in Ethan Alvano. Ethan, the Filipino-American, in his first year with San Miguel Alan Pilipinas, goes to PJ. They will milk this match up here. PJ Ramos, no get on the shortstop, and this is what they missed. Kaelan Chongson with those hustle rebounds, although the ball will go out last touch on him. That was the turnover of Adarian Bassett, but you see the extra clicker activity between Holyfield and PJ Ramos. <laughs> the smallest guy on the floor trying to stop that confrontation. And a foul here called against Bobby Ray Parks. A slow start to this ball game, Mikey. I believe composure will be put to play early in this game as both teams again getting chippy. That's how you know we're in the playoffs here. Bassett missing. That's another whistle here. The refs calling it tightly. I believe it'll be on PJ Ramos, so that's one foul each for both Holyfield and Ramos. 8 and 16 to go. Leakey to trigger this one in. Gets it to Holyfield. Odarian, Bassett working against Alvano. In trouble, John Shu moving closer, floater in the lane, that will roll out. Almost retrieving his own miss, but Alvano picks it up. Here comes Ala Pilipinas on the move. Ronaldo Bogman 
PJ on top, back to Ronaldo with a mismatch here against Don Chu. Ronaldo will exploit it and force his way to the pocket. Peanut butter and jelly, PJ Ramos and Ronaldo Buckman connecting on that possession. PJ Ramos giving the ball back to Ronaldo Buckman as he sealed his man again. Two points for Ronaldo. First two off the ball game here for Bulk Mania. Here is John Shu on the blow by Shu on the dips of two. What a and, move. And twice Shu has gotten a good look as he drove to the basket, all thanks to Michael Holyfield, who keeps PJ Ramos yeah. busy every time someone attacks for them. But Bulkman again. He likes that matchup against John Shu and continues to attack the rim. Oh, that's just too easy for Ronaldo Bachman. That's a mouse in the house for Bach Mania. ODB missing on the lay-in. So here comes Ronaldo. Uh, even even with a smaller defender, yeah. Leaky, I'm sure they will go back to Ronaldo Bachman. PJ. They go to the left wing. Extra pass to Kalen. Chong Son on the drive. Got the contact from Holyfield and lost the ball. Elliott. Marcus Elliott on the pull-up jumper. Specialty of the house for Marcus. That's one of the things that makes Marcus Elliott so dangerous. He will, he will attack you at full speed, but he will stop on a dime and take that mid-range jumper. That's his favorite pull-up jumper. Here's PJ from the left wing, 4-3. Back rims that one, Ronaldo Bachman with the rebound. Parks to Ronaldo, high low for Alam. Holyfield getting the board for Hong Kong. Here comes ODB. Four minutes eclipsing in this one. Marcus Elliott firing and knocking down the three pointer. And this is what Alam Filipinas would not want as Marcus Elliott hits his second shot in a row. This one from downtown. Marcus Elliott to start the ball game. Five quick points for him. And Hong Kong Eastern, they've overtaken San Miguel Ala Pilipinas here, seven to six. Bogman for three. That's good. Ronaldo's still hot. Oh, Ronaldo Bogman getting the crowd into it. Seven points for Bogman. And no one from Hong Kong can just stop Bogman right now. Inside, outside for the masked man. And the mask providing a bit of charm here for Ronaldo Bachman. Let's take a look at the play again. That was the screen, leaving Bachman open for the three pointer. Look at this celebration, Martin. Look at this celebration. Loving it. <laughs> for Bachmania here in Cebu, Labu Labu City. John Chu from the right wing. Oh. Hong Kong Eastern knocking in early three pointers here, Mikey. You gotta love the courage of John Chu, not phased going up against someone like Ronaldo Bachman, getting that three pointer back. So the scoring has come from two men for Hong Kong, five each for Elliott and John Chu. And Ronaldo Bachman is not phased. <laughs> it's just too easy right now for Ronaldo Bachman. And we can only wait as Coach Edu Torres will have to make adjustments to be able to guard Bachman here in the first. You can have John Chu on him all game long. Elliot zigzagging. Holyfield with the rebound. He is hounded by PJ, and Holyfield will be fouled on his way up. And the activity of Michael Holyfield trying to negate the size of PJ Ramos, just being there for those 50 50 balls as we see this again. PJ Ramos finding his partner in crime, and no problem knowing what to do with the basketball. The patience of Bulk Mania for his ninth point of the first quarter. Toying with two defenders there as we go into this timeout. Ala Pilipinas ahead by a point. Back to the ball game here. Jesse Buanos enjoying the action. There you go, the fans coming out on a Friday evening. It's March 29, 
2019 here in the Philippines. And we are once again here inside the Hoops Down in Lapu-Lapu City in Cebu, the Queen City of the South here in the country. And San Miguel Ala Pilipinas continues to battle Hong Kong Eastern here in our very first playoff game of your ABL9. And it's it's just a one point lead here for Ala, but it's pretty obvious that Ala has easy has, has scored easier, especially down low, because mm. like what we said in their last game against each other, the Twin Towers were underneath the basket for Hong Kong, talking about Michael Holyfield and of course Sam De Guara. But now that it's only Michael Holyfield down there and he will have to guard PJ Ramos, it's been a it's been a, a fiesta down low right. for for Ronaldo Bachman. So I get I I we can see that that's the biggest difference between this game, this the first six minutes, five minutes of this game, looking back at that win for Hong Kong against Halab. And Ronaldo Bogman has been exploiting that matchup down low against John Shu as Holyfield misses the first free throw. Holyfield, a mid-season acquisition for Hong Kong Eastern. And still no lineup change, no substitutions here for Hong Kong. So Su will continue to guard Ronaldo Bogman. Parks, local against local, up against Lee Key now. They go to PJ at the post. To the delight of the crowd here, PJ backing down. Ramos tripped away. PJ on the short stab, no good. And Ronaldo missing on the cleanup one more time. Will not get a basket that time. John Shu stopping on a dime. Here's Bassett for three. A little bit too strong on that one. That was a good setup though, coming from Su. Oh, Kalen with a euro to the hoop. Finishing with the offhand as well. Kalen Chong Son going right, going left, finishing with the offhand. And this is what they miss an aggressive Kalen Chong Son as Marcus Elliott, as always, as aggressive as he is, here in the first quarter, keeping his team afloat against Alab. How about Marcus Elliott? Eight points already, but Parks takes it all the way to the cup. Too easy for Ray Ray Parks. You just really gotta find the mismatch when you go up against right. Hong Kong, talking about San Miguel Alab. And the obvious mismatch here, Mikey, Lee is... Key. Yeah, Lee Key. They're definitely the taller team here on the floor as John Chu misses that three-pointer. Ronaldo Bogman now pushing. Ah, oh, stolen away by John Chu. Alvaro, though, with a counter steal. Here's the save to PJ Ramos at midcourt. Bogman surveying. Back out to Ethan, who steps it to a free. That's good! And again, defense to offense. Ethan Alvano, Alvano. That's what he does. He plays defense. He looks for his spots. He waits for his shots. And he converts them at a high pace. But ODB with a quick counter for Hong Kong Eastern. You gotta love this matchup, Martin. <laughs> An offensive-minded point guard in Odarian Bassett going up against a defensive-minded point guard in Ethan Alvano. And Hong Kong Eastern will have to rely on the talent of Marco Zellion and ODB to win this series. That's a foul underneath. Let's see. That's the second foul talking about. That's Michael Holyfield's second foul. That's a big development here for Hong Kong Eastern. The lone legitimate big man, Michael Holyfield, with two personal fouls. Let's take a look at that again. Bogman hounded underneath. But Coach Edu Torres just can't take Michael Holyfield out because who do you expect to guard? PJ Ramos. And this is when they missed mm. <laughs> Sam De Guara, I'm right. sure. And Coach Edu Torres also lost a key big man in the middle of the season. That is Wu Chuk Pan, who went down with an ACL injury in practice. Ramos missing on the short stab. Hasn't got in the touch, Mikey. But you see PJ trying to get Michael Holyfield's third foul in that possession as Odarian Bassett gets his own miss. Marcus Elliott from the right wing shoots over Chong Son. Ramos with the rebound. Quickly to Ronaldo. Bachman on the crossover. Ronaldo zigzagging his way to the hoop. 
And you see the frustration in Ronaldo Baltman's face as he's missed maybe six, five or six gimmies from down low. Uncharacteristic for someone like Ronaldo Baltman, but you gotta love, he stays aggressive and he stays attacking the basket knowing that he will always have that mismatch against Sue. Take a look at this move for Ronaldo Baltman, just too easy. Navigating his way to the basket. I think it's too easy yeah. that he's overthinking the finish. <laughs> <laughs> He's kind of babying that finish a couple of times here in the first. You saw earlier Josh Urbistondo. The old man with the with a flamethrower. Mm -hmm. Fireball. That's how we call it. Or we call him. Here's Chan Shu Wing. Oh, this is another guy that Alab, San Miguel Alab Filipinas will have to look after. Oh, this is a good matchup between Pau Pau Havelona and Wing. Both players can play defense. Both players are very, very smart. Two gritty guards from both sides. Here is Marcos Elliott. That's a foul away from the ball. They're going to call it against Parks. A little too aggressive there for Ray Ray Parks. Needs to be smarter with those types of fouls. But here comes the fireball. Josh Urbistondo has been... He's been like fine wine this season. Right. Coming off the bench last year, he started off... He started the games for Coach Jimmy Labag, but with the entry of Ethan Alvano, he was delegated or relegated to the bench, but he took that role. Right, and accepted it. And he has really been a, a constant contributor off the bench, especially from the outside. Every time he comes in, he spaces the floor out for Ronaldo Bachman and PJ Ramos. And, you know, you don't even feel like, or his age, yeah. you don't really feel it. Or when you watch him play, he's like, he can compete with the young gun still, talking about Josh Urbistondo. And imagine having that type of player in your second unit, Mikey. That's a luxury you have if you're coach Jimmy Alapag. But Hong Kong Eastern forced to go small here now. Holyfield going to the bench with a two personal fouls. Ray Parks goes to the bench. Urbistondo replacing him also with two personal fouls. So Hong Kong Eastern now, this is a small lineup <laughs> where I believe John Shu and Adam Zhu their tallest players on the floor at six foot five. This is a gamble for Coach Edu Torres because I don't know who's gonna match up against PJ Ramos, but then again, they will have to run yeah. to counter that big guy down low. Oh, it's a zone defense. Here is Ramos at the post up. Chongson for three. Catch and shoot action. Kalen Chongson drains it. And that's the easiest and the most, the simplest way to bust a zone defense as Marcus Elliott. Oh, with some muscle on that finish. Mm. Pau Havilana sending it to Chong Son. They go to Ronaldo, quick bump on Adam Zhu, and he will be fouled here. And this is basically picking your poison if you're Hong Kong. Are you gonna go come out to the shooters as we look at this move? The spin cycle by Marcus Elliott and the concentration to finish despite of the contact. But this is when you choose mm. if you're gonna give them the three ball or are you gonna challenge the three ball right. and risk getting the ball down low and defending the big guy. But fortunate for, for Hong Kong, PJ Ramos will take a seat first and also Ronaldo Bachmann still on the floor. So Brandon Rosser making his way in after an excellent return against the Saigon Heat with a double-double in that game. Ronaldo Bachmann, Avilona for three. A bit too strong, Rosser keeps it alive but taps it to the wrong guy. Oh, Darian Bassett on the pull-up three-pointer. It's good for Bassett. And those are the kinds of shots that Darian Bassett consistently makes. That quick hezzy to the pull-up against Josh Urbistondo for that quick triple. 23-22 is the count. 22 seconds remaining here in the first quarter. And now the Bachman backing down. He's got the smaller Elliott on him. Chongson for three. Short. And they're going to make him take that shot all night long. Bassett on the attack. Slip slides and doesn't make the shot. Here's Bachman on the heave. Ronaldo on target, but a little bit too strong on that shot as we end the first quarter of play here in Lapu Lapu City, Cebu. Opening game of the playoff, San Miguel Ala Filipinas and Hong Kong Eastern. Mikey, great action we're seeing so far from both of these teams. Well, 
It's been, when you watch the game, you see how easy it has been for the likes of Ronaldo Balkman and PJ Ramos down low. But Hong Kong has done enough to keep themselves in this game. The way that uh, they have a disadvantage down low, they're taking advantage of their running game, getting easy baskets on the other end. We got a one-point game at the end of the first 23-22 in favor of the home squad, San Miguel Ala Pilipinas. Back to the action here in the ABL 9 playoffs. Number two versus number seven. San Miguel Ala Pilipinas. Their fans cheering on here in Lapu Lapu City and Cebu. You guys got Mark, uh, Martin Avier with Mikey Reyes breaking this game down. And so far, so good for the defending champions. But well, one thing they have to do is uh, you know, contain Bassett and Elliott. And that's very hard to do because these are two excellent one-on-one -on -one players on offense. I think even though Alab is leading by a point, by a single point here to start the second one, I think they have more things to worry about because right. with the advantages that they ha they've had, especially down low, they're only up by one point. So I believe, I'm sure Coach Edu Torres was proud of that first quarter and they would want to just maintain this kind of this energy right. until the end and keep it close and maybe have a chance at the end to win against the much favored Ala Pilipinas. Hoping some Malinok in the ball game now for Ala. Good cut and Brandon Rosser lays it up and in. Moving without the basketball, usually a lost art in the game, but Brandon Rosser showing us what, what can happen if you move without the basketball. ODP, Elliot, all day to shoot too strong. So Malinok with the rebound. Here is Pau Pau Havilona. No, oh, entry pass picked off by Elliott. Marcus on the move. Marcus taking the contact. No finish though. He was looking for the foul right after. He was fishing for the foul there, Marcus Elliott, but was not given to him. And here comes Ronaldo Bachman. And Bachman scores again. Too easy. That's one way to attack the zone is to attack right away before they can actually come down and protect the paint. Talking about Hong Kong. So. That was a good possession for Team Ala Pilipinas. And Bogman continues his stare here. He's got 13 points in the ball game. That's a miss for Bassett. Here's Rosser on the catch. Woo! Ball will go the other way. Rosser felt like he was pushed, but no foul will be given. And again, this is the activity that Hong Kong has done to keep themselves in this ball game as we see this long outlet pass by the Darian Bassett. Even though there was contact, it could have gone both either way, yeah. but the ball will go back to Hong Kong, a chance for them to cut into this five point lead. There's Marcus Elliott, double teamed on top. John Chu on the catch and shoot. Avilona with the rebound. Here comes Ala Pilipinas, ahead by five points, 27-22. Rosser, they swing it to Havilona, but it is deflected out by Chan Shu Wing. Well, they've had their success with this zone, talking about Eastern, uh, Hong Kong Eastern. But then they've really tried to outscore right. or outplay on the offensive end, this uh, San Miguel Ala Pilipinas team. But Michael Holyfield will come back in the ball game as PJ Ramos mm. re-enters the floor as well. Holyfield with two personal fouls. That's why he sat early in the first frame. Urbistondo. They swing it to Bogman at the post. Bogman on the turn. 
too strong. Holyfield with a rebound. Here is Marcus Elliott accelerating. Elliott, no go. Holyfield, though, no good on the cleanup as well, and he gets it on the free try. But again, the aggressiveness of Marcus Elliott taking P.G. Ramos out of the picture, and the big guy, Michael Holyfield, cleaning up the mess for Hong Kong. So it is 27-24. We had over two minutes gone here in the second quarter. We've got a timeout on the floor. Back to the action here, and this is Sir Hemler Mendoza, the chief, uh, the city tourism chief. There you go, of Lapu Lapu City. Uh, I had a chance to talk to him earlier about the city, about you know the third time they're hosting a game here in the ABL, and we're gonna catch that interview during halftime. This is Ala Pilipinas owner Charlie D, also enjoying the action. I'm not sure if he's enjoying though. <laughs> he, he, he looks stressed. Just in that shot. It's a slim three-point lead here, a one-possession ball game. But, you know, a great, great job for Charlie D in forming this team, making it stronger year in, year out. Of course, their third season here in the ABL. Third season. Got the championship last year. Third in the first season. Now they're gunning for a back-to-back. -back. Sumalinog. They go to the post up here, Ronaldo. Bachman, ah, oh, good feed, Ramos with a hook smash underneath. Interior passing there between Bachman and Ramos in full display as Bachman attracted two defenders and leaving it for PJ Ramos to finish the playoff. Crowd erupting right after that jam. Here's Elliott with the answer. Back rims that one. Now the Filipinas, a chance to create some separation. They swing it to PJ. High low to Bogman at the baseline, guarded by Holyfield. PJ has got a smaller man on him, and why not? PJ Ramos with back to back baskets for San Miguel Ala Filipinas. And here comes Bob Mania, one of the fan favorites of San Miguel Ala Filipinas, and the way he interacts with the crowd just really hypes everyone up here in Cebu. Bogmania is a fan favorite, especially here in the Queen City of the South. Seven point lead for the defending champions. Beautiful faces all around the venue here. The Cebuana, Cebuanos watching intently here. And we've got some great action here from the Hulk, PJ Ramos. Back to back baskets, one from the jam and one on that cut for the reverse. Balkmania just looking for his big guy down low and PJ Ramos doing a good job picking his spots, looking for the openings, looking for those spaces and creases on that zone defense. And the two world imports teaming up, giving Ala Pilipinas this seven point lead midway through the second quarter. That's the Puerto Rican connection working for Ala Pilipinas. Here is a takeaway for Urbistondo. Bachman on a boat, making a jam. And look at Josh Urbistondo picking the ball up 94 feet. And almost getting another one there. Wow. Fountain of youth. But I think Ronaldo Bachman hurt himself in that last jam. Look at this. Who said he was the old guy? Who said <laughs> this guy is playing like a rookie? 
talking about Josh Urbistondo picking the ball up 94 feet, but Ronaldo Bachman hurt himself in that last jam. Oh, Ronaldo is a bit shaken up here as he is headed to the bench or at the bench right now of San Miguel Ala Filipina. So let's see if he can return in this ball game, Mikey. But this is a tremendous development on the side of San Miguel Ala Filipinas. We all know what impact Bogman can make on the floor for them. Ramos, Alvano, and they are on the move again. Ethan, Rosser replacing Bogman on the floor. PJ, whip pass back outside to Ethan. 10 seconds to shoot for the white shirts. Alvano, the kick out. Ramos puts it on the floor. Good tap from behind from Holyfield. And someone needs to step up for San Miguel Ala Filipinas, especially on the offensive end. And you can see, without Ronaldo Balkman, no one is is really attacking the basket yeah. and looking for the best shot possible for Alab. So let's see, PJ here. Oh, well anticipated right there by Holyfield. The takeaway by Holyfield, and here is Elliott feeding his big guy underneath. That's a foul in the finish from Michael Holyfield. Nice find there for Marcus Elliott looking for his cutting big as PJ Ramos was lagging behind after that steal from Michael Holyfield. Michael Holyfield running the floor well and quick enough to go or to run along his teammates, especially the backcourt duo, Marcus Elliott and Odarian Bassett. Michael Holyfield finishing that end one play opportunity. Here comes Ethan Alvano. Three point play. Cuts the lead down to six. Alab held the biggest lead of the night at nine earlier. Alvano. Ramos will try to take it back, and he does. Nothing but net on that trifecta. And that's one thing that Michael Holyfield will have to, will have to understand that B.J. Ramos has an outside shot, so he does pick and pop in that situation. Ethan Alvando finding his big man for that triple. And B.J. has shown that range all throughout the season. Ethan with the pickup. Alvano starting it, getting it to Rosser, who will recover here for Alab. They go to Oping Sumalino. Too strong on the free. Elliott. They go to John Shu. John Shu driving baseline. Pass it from the top of the key. That's good. Not leave Odarian Bassett that wide open. Especially after a couple of misses. That's what Odarian needed. One shot to see the ball go back in the rim. This could get his groove going again. Talking about Darian Bassett. And Hong Kong Eastern coming back by threes here. Bassett taking it away. Holyfield with a jam. That's another three-point play opportunity for Michael Holyfield. What a pass from Darian Bassett. And the duo, the backcourt duo, the best backcourt in the league. Marcus Ellis or Darian Bassett leading the charge, setting their big guy up. And Michael Holyfield just finishing with force. Second three point play opportunity here in the quarter and for Michael Holyfield. And you see this quick run by Hong Kong as soon as Ronaldo Balkman was yeah. hurt and had to sit on the bench. But you can see Ronaldo Balkman from the bench talking to coach Jimmy Lepag. I believe he really, really, I, I assume yeah. he really, really wants to go back in. He's, he's near the scorer's table. He's right beside Coach Danny Siegel. And he's up on his feet. Ray Parks in the ball game. Ramos. Ah, oh, quick spin. Ramos on a soft touch with a reverse. And forget about the quick spin, but the jelly and the English on the lay-in by BJ Ramos. The skill of this big guy. You, you shouldn't be that skillful right. when you're that big and that heavy. Talking about P.J. Ramos. P.J. <laughs> I got to see that again. That's just unfair for <laughs> P.J. Ramos. Look at this. Look, look at this. The quick spin oh. to leave Holyfield and the jelly. Goodbye. <laughs> P.J. Ramos. Using Such a skilled rim, big man. Using the rim as protection. 38-32. Pass it. Holyfield with a rebound. Holyfield will lose it out of bounds. Michael Holyfield and Ethan Alvano exchanging a few words. And Ethan, 
And Alvano didn't like the push by Holyfield on Brandon Rosser, I believe. And this is what Michael Holyfield is trying to do, getting under the skin of the Filipinos. Alam will have the procession here. Ray Ray Parks. They go to PJ. Ramos taking the three again, off to the left. Marcus Elliott. And if you're Hong Kong, you'll live and die with PJ taking those three pointers. Elliott front rims that one. And if you're Hong Kong, you will also live and die with the jumpers yeah. from Marcus Elliott and Adarian Bassett. There's the ball movement from Alab. But they will reset the offense here and go to the post. PJ, Rosser for three. Rosser knocks it down. Back to Rosser. From the outside. Not really known as a shooter, but if he can hit that consistently, that's an extra weapon for San Miguel Alab. Bassett couldn't counter. And Alab is on the move again. Parks to Kalen. Kalen surveys. Kalen gets it to PJ. Ethan all day to shoot. No good. Battle for the loose ball. It goes to Elliott. Uh, that was a nice pass again for PJ Ramos. Finding Ethan Alvano wide open on that left corner. Chachu Wing unable to knock in the three pointer. Here is Alvano. The bounce pass to Parks, who had position against Chan Shu Wing. Well, the sad truth for Hong Kong is. They will go as far as the, the shot if they go in. That's their only chance of winning this game right. against San Miguel Ala Filipinas. But once Marcos Elliott and Darren Bassett go cold, like that, what, what's been happening in the last few possessions, they will have a tough time against San Miguel Ala Filipinas. So those isolation plays, right. they will really live and die with those plays from coming from their two guards. And this is more bad news for Hong Kong Eastern. Bachman just returned for Alab on the floor, and right away he gets it to the mix. Bachman no get on the turnaround. So ODB, they try to mount a comeback here for Hong Kong Eastern. Last two minutes of the first half. Pass it on to Hezzy. Pass it, cradles that one in. What a move, the handle package, that Hezzy package of Adarian Bassett. Look at that pause and go, and the offhand finger roll for an ODB. His change of direction, Mikey, is just unguardable. Odarian Bassett. Oh, Bogman against Elliott. Oh, he likes that matchup, and Bogman is able to score automatically. Well, you're talking about unguardable. <laughs> Ronaldo Bogman has definitely been unguardable the whole first half. Yeah. Marcus Elliott in and out, but you see Bogman visibly limping for Ala Pilipinas as Elliott drops in that short jumper. Good job for Michael Holyfield getting his team an extra possession and Marcus Elliott finding hit, finally hitting a shot after a dry spell. Kalen Chong Son, Ramos just inside the circle, no go. Not the best shot. Talking about San Miguel Ala Filipinas and you see the frustration, the disappointment in Coach Jimmy Lepak's face. They've had their chances, Mikey of creating more separation against Hong Kong Eastern. More cushion for them. Holyfield getting the offensive rebound and another crack at the basket for Hong Kong. John Shu feeds it, it to Holyfield. Uh, that's an auto familiar shot for Holyfield and they foul San Miguel Ala Pilipinas here. But really the activity of Michael Holyfield has been giving San Miguel Ala Pilipinas problems so Holyfield will be called for his third personal foul, Mikey. He was doing a better job in preserving his fouls too in the second quarter. He did get two in the first, and with 27 seconds left, he's now called for his third foul in the first half. And we have a timeout here, seven point lead by San Miguel Ala Filipinas going into this break.
We resume our coverage here in Hoops Dome in Lapu-Lapu City. Marcus Elliott, aside from the foul here called against Michael Holyfield on fouling PJ Ramos on that pass. Marcus Elliott not liking the call, talking to the referee, and this is the Singaporean referee giving Marcus Elliott the technical foul after a few words. There you go, that was the T given to Marcus. Marcus Elliott, he knew how important or how big of an impact that last foul of Michael Holyfield could, could have in this game. But now Coach Edu Torres deciding to sit Michael Holyfield out for the last 27 seconds of this quarter. And this is a chance for Ala Pilipinas to make a small run here mm -hmm. as Ray Ray Parks will take the technical free throws and they will get the possession back. Ala could get a double digit advantage if they want it at halftime. Let's see if they can capitalize. Parks connecting. And Ray Ray and the rest of Ala Pilipinas will have the possession here. Last 27 seconds of the second period. And this is a big one to end the first half to get to gain that momentum entering the dugout, especially for Alab going up against this lineup, again, this small lineup for Hong Kong. Yeah. We can almost assume that they will go down low to either PJ or Ronaldo. Works. Get it to Ethan Alvaro. About a second difference, or two seconds difference between the clocks. Parks against John Shu. Ray Ray doesn't get the bounce. Parks hustling for it. Another crack at the basket. No good for Parks. And loose ball ends up with Ethan Alvaro. And Ala Pilipinas will run out of time. An empty trip to end the first half there for the defending champions. But nonetheless, they will take the eight-point advantage against Hong Kong Eastern, Mikey. It's been, an it's been an eventful first half for both teams as we he see the slam for Ronaldo Bachman, who has led this game in terms of points. But Michael Holyfield and the dynamic duo of Adarian Bassett and Marcus Elliott keeping Hong Kong afloat against the Hulk and the rest of the San Miguel Ala Pilipinas team. DJ Ramos getting a couple of baskets there in the second quarter. And at halftime, it's Ala Pilipinas. I had here in game number one by eight. Halftime stats and analysis coming your way. Don't go away. ABL9 will return here on SNA. The fan got a good feel of that in that sequence. But after, at halftime here, San Miguel Ala Pilipinas ahead by eight points. And you can see why they are dominating. The painted area with that combination of Bogman and Ramos underneath. Well, have a, they have a seven rebound advantage against the Hong Kong Eastern basketball team in the assist department as well. Both Bogman and BG Ramos have done a good job in locating their open teammates, especially because they attract so much attention right. and they, they attract so much defenders that one of their teammates is bound to be left open and they've done a good job in finding those. And like what you said, the points in the paint story obviously they can control right. by san miguel ala pilipinas but what we can see here is i assume i don't know the exact number but the fast break points i will i can assume that hong kong eastern basketball team that's the one way that they're keeping this game close and hong kong eastern right now down by eight points again you mentioned earlier they're going to be relying a lot on the shot making of Odarian Bassett and Marcus Elliott so far they have combined for 22 total points here is Bassett on the pull-up jumper as we continue to see the highlights of the first half here Ray Ray Parks had a couple of baskets in the first quarter but he was in foul trouble early that's why he or his rhythm got cut in this game IQ. well again Ala Pilipinas a lot of things happening off the court with that uh, the foul trouble of course uh, for Ray Ray Parks and that uh, that dunk that caused uh, Ronaldo Bachman to sit on, a, on the bench for a few minutes and that's when Hong Kong Eastern basketball team made their run and tried to cut into this deficit. But as soon as Ronaldo Bachman came back on the floor, so was the rhythm of San Miguel Ala Pilipinas and they have this eight-point lead at halftime. Second half action coming up next. Again, this is San Miguel Ala Pilipinas versus Hong Kong Eastern live here in Hoops Dome in Cebu, Lapu Lapu City.
Back to the coverage here, and this is the playoffs of the SEN Basketball League season number nine, Rise to Greatness. Defending champions in action tonight here in Cebu against the challengers, Hong Kong Eastern, the last two champions as well here in the ABL, but in very different positions this year. Ala Filipinas, well, high and mighty there at the number two spot. Hong Kong Eastern finishing the regular season at number seven, but they've got upsets on their mind. Uh, talking about the Hong Kong Eastern players. And yeah, let's see if they can make it happen here. Ala Filipinas though, looking to open their title defense with a victory here at home. Oh, you gotta love the competitiveness of Hong Kong, even though it's pretty obvious that they have a disadvantage, especially down low. They have battled their way through that first half. And they actually have a chance. This is just an eight point lead to start the second half. A lot of things can happen here in Cebu. Again, this is only a, an eight-point advantage within striking distance are Hong Kong Eastern. So let's see if they can inch closer here in the third quarter. Ethan Albano, though, goes to the corner as we begin action of the second half. Oh, Galen jumps on, adjusting in midair to get that basket. And the same as Brandon Rosser. This is what they love here in Alab about Kalen Chong Son moving without the basketball. You don't need to call a play for him. He will try to pick his spots and cut to the basket at the right time to get those passes and finish strong. And Alaba has opened up a double digit advantage and they forced the turnover on the side of Hong Kong Eastern. This was the move earlier by Kalen Chong Son. PJ back to Kalen who jumped and glide to the hoop that time. And he just kept moving, a give and go there between Kalen Chong Son and PJ Ramos. As we see an offensive foul here on Ronaldo Bogman. So both teams committing turnovers. In the early goings of this third quarter, a slight push on OTB on the screen. 46-36 is the count. Marcus Elliott, hard screen given up by Holyfield. Elliott could not convert. Loose ball goes to Kalen Jung Son. Here's Balkman, Ronaldo, the bounce to Ethan Alvano, and he finishes inside, plus the foul. Another assist by one of the world imports of Ala Pilipinas. This time, Ronaldo Balkman finding a cutting. Ethan Alvano, a switch of roles here, the forward to the point guard. And the concentration, despite the contact for Ethan Alvano finishing the play. And one for the point guard of Team Ala Pilipinas. Youngest player in the lineup here for San Miguel Ala Pilipinas. Ethan Alvano making his mark right away here in the ABL. He completes the three point play, and it is now a 13 point advantage for San Miguel Ala Pilipinas. Air race right away, two points at least. For ODB. That was too easy for ODB. No one stopping the basketball as he saw Ethan Alvano was again trying to pressure him right away, attacking the basket, and no one, there was no help defense there for San Miguel Ala Pilipinas. And you can't give uh, Odarian Bassett nor Marcus Elliott these easy points right. because this can get them going, and when they get going, it'll be all, it will be tough to stop this duo. Those could be game-changing plays here for Hong Kong Eastern. Let's see if PJ can take it back. Ramos with a hard bump, and PJ Ramos converts. PJ Ramos, again, the skill of this big guy. One dribble, uses his body to shield off Michael Holyfield, and that soft touch to finish the play. ODB to Leakey, who has been silent in this game. No more, though, as he banks that one in. That's a big conversion from Lee Key, finally a local here, scoring again for Hong Kong after a good start by Su. Oh, another fantastic cut by Ethan Alvano. That time, Kalen Chongson fighting him underneath. Again, moving without the basketball, Ethan Alvano showing his version of that. And this guy can move with the basketball. Yeah. Darren Bassett again using the handle package for that quick trigger pull up against Ethan Alvano. And you see Ethan Alvano really trying his best to stay in front of Odarian Bassett, but just really not an easy job. Right. 
ODB, one of the best one-on-one -on -one players we have. One of many <laughs> one -on -one, good one-on-one -on -one players we have here in the league, but ODB is definitely uh, on top. But there's Ronaldo Bogman lobbing it up to PJ. And that's three seconds in the key for PJ Ramos. And again, another shot here for Hong Kong to cut further into this deficit. A little too much time in that painted area. DJ Ramos called for the turnover. Here's Leakey from the corner. Three point specialist. And Chong Son Holyfield getting tangled up on the rebound. And you see again the, uh, the defenders that well, Darian Bassett attracts, leaving Leakey wide open for that corner triple. Unfortunately, missing that but Kalen Chong Son battling for that rebound as always right that's what they missed and that's what they need right now if you're Ala Pilipinas that hustle from Kalen and that three-pointer just drops in for Bobby Ray Parks step back three-pointer for two-time local MVP Ray Ray Parks trying to get himself going here in the second half so Ala back in front by 13 Marcus Elliott against Kalen Chong Son. He will go one on one for that pull up jumper. No good. Rebound tap top by Holyfield. And that's really all you can do when you go up against someone like Marcus Elliott is just really make it tough for him to see the rim. Good defense again by San Miguel Ala Pilipinas as Ray Ray Parks using his big man as a screen steps back to the three point line and hits it. Here's PJ. Against Holyfield, PJ gets it back. PJ gets away. PJ Ramos taking matters into his own hands. 15 points, the biggest lead of the game for Ana Pilipinas. And that's why Marcus Elliott drove right away in that sequence. And that's the PJ Ramos effect. Even though PJ didn't get off the floor, he didn't even get off the floor, but Marcus Elliott had to improvise. Right. <laughs> and that's the fear that that you see on the on the on everyone's eyes when they go up against someone like PJ Ramos. That's a value he gives here for San Miguel Ala Pilipinas, that intimidation factor. Oh yeah. And for a guy the mere knowledge that he is on the floor, oh, yeah. Mikey. But he's actually a gentle giant, isn't right, he, he? Off is. the court. Yeah. <laughs> Very nice, uh, very nice guy, very playful guy as well. Not when you're trying to attack the basket, though. Yeah. <laughs> That's another story. <laughs> Marcus Elliott here trying to will Hong Kong back in this ball game. The lead has ballooned to 14 points. And he goes two for two. Again, this can get Marcus Elliott going, just seeing the ball go through the hoop. Very, very big for someone like Marcus Elliott, who is a known scorer yeah. in this league. Ray Ray, though, back outside to PJ, puts it on the floor. Ramos flips it up. Kalen with a put back. A little too strong on that <laughs> one, but Chung Son is fired up here in Cebu. I mean, I know we've talked about the skills of PJ Ramos, but this is just Ooh. a little too much here. The Euro, <laughs> the fast pace. Was intending to pass, but eventually <laughs> took the shot. Good thing Kalen was right there to clean up his mess. But Kalen Chong Son here at the free throw line, connecting on the first Kalen, spending his first year with Ala Pilipinas this year. After spending a year, a season ago, with Chong Son Kung Fu, then Chong Son Kung Fu, now the Macau Black Bears, playing alongside Anthony Tucker and Mike McKinney last year. 60 to 45, and Adam Zhu will check in here for John Shu. And new faces here for Hong Kong as Lao enters the ball game. Now Chi Lai entering the game for the first time after a career game against the Wolf Warriors in their last contest in Hong Kong. Here comes Ala Pilipinas. And this is already a 15 point lead here, Martin. Yeah, 60 to 45, Alam slowly pulling away. PJ, Kalen moving closer. Chong Son, the kick out, PJ. 
sets his feet, fires, uh, that's too strong. <laughs> Step back three pointer by the seven footer. Well, he's showing us the moves here tonight. DJ Ramos, unable to make the shot though, but at least we are seeing a bit of the footwork from the big guy. We got a timeout on the floor here that drew air though. San Miguel Ala Pilipinas with a 60 to 45 lead. San Miguel Ala Filipinas tying their biggest lead of the night at six or 15 points, 60 to 45. And we are in the third quarter of this game, four and 43 remaining. And Ala Filipinas, well, they've outscored Hong Kong Eastern 16 to nine here in the third frame. And those two guys have been big help for San Miguel Ala Filipinas, PJ Ramos and Ronaldo Bogman. Oh, Bogman falls down here. As action continues, Alfano from the corner. Will not work, Holyfield with the rebound. That was a good play though, called up by coach Jimmy Alapag to get Ethan Alvano, that open three-pointer from the corner, knowing that they only had four seconds left on the shot clock. Here is ODB, pass it off the screen. He drops it in. ODB just, guy, this guy just has all the moves, all the counter attacks. You stop one way, I go the other. And the quick trigger to pull up. Oh, Ronaldo contesting this call. But this is the move earlier by Odarian Bassett off the screen, given up by Holyfield. And he's got that killer jumper in his arsenal as well. And he releases the basketball at the tip of his jump. That's why it makes yeah. it so much harder to guard. Let's see Hong Kong. They're saying it's last touch on Ala Pilipinas. I think it hit the referee, so the ball will go back to Hong Kong. 13 point lead here for San Miguel Ala Pilipinas. And that ODB jumper put them in this position. 17 points now in the ball game for ODB. Here's Marcus Elliott. They go to Lao Tsilai from straight away. That's good. That's a big three there for Lau, put in there to play defense against Ray Ray Parks, but ODB finding him with that extra pass off of that Marcus Elliott drive, and Lau hitting that three-pointer to cut this to 10. Without the ball, but no get on the counter. Hong Kong on the move, trying to create an uprising. Marcus Elliott banks that one in, plus the foul. A big boy move there for Marcus Elliott. As fast as he is, and as quick as he is, the strength, the upper body strength to go at Ray Ray Parks. But we see this attack by Marcus Elliott, kick out to ODB, ODB the extra pass, but look at the strength, bumping, getting Ray Ray Parks out of the picture and finishing over BJ Ramos. And Hong Kong Eastern playing better basketball in this stretch, able to trim the lead down to single digits. It's now at 8 points, 60 to 52.
Back to our coverage here. And after leading it by 15 points earlier, seven to nothing run of the timeout by Hong Kong Eastern to pull to within eight points, 60 to 52. And this is exactly what we were saying about OGB and Marcos Elliott. They find the groove. They just need to see that ball go through the net. And anything or things can happen at an, in an instant as Marcos Elliott gets this end one opportunity. ODB, Marcos Elliott combining for 33 points so far, 16 and 17 points respectively. And earlier, they were able to open up the shooter, Lao Tsi Lai, for the three-pointer as well. So That's things are starting to happen for Hong Kong Eastern with these two clicking now. And that's the thing about Marcus Elliott and ODB is they're being aggressive, trying to create plays for themselves. But with this, they actually create plays for their teammates because yeah. they attract so much attention. Like what you said, they set up Lau for that three-pointer. Let's see how Alibu counter here. Parks, no good. Baldwin, no good. And Hong Kong is off and running. Elliott to the corner. Lao Tsi Lai, Elliott, they swing it around. ODB with the open look. That's good! Lin is down to four. What a run here for Hong Kong. Again, ODB to Marcus Elliott. And they find ODB on the other side of the floor, wide open for that three pointer. Hong Kong Eastern back in it. All of a sudden, Baldwin hooks pass for PJ. And the same way that the guards of Hong Kong attract attention. Ronaldo Bachman does the same for Alab, leaving again PJ Ramos wide open for that slam. And that stops the 11 to nothing run put up by Hong Kong Eastern. Now Tsi Lai, another one on its way. Wow. What an adjustment here. What a find by coach Edu Torres. And ODP getting the steal and the score to trim the lean down to one. What a run here for Hong Kong. And obviously that PJ Ramos was, was not enough to put water on this fire that Hong Kong has caused in the past few minutes. This is a 16 to two run for Hong Kong Eastern and they get the stop. The takeaway for Hong Kong. Elliott will slow it down. Here is Holyfield back outside to Marcus. Back rims that one, but Hong Kong gets it back. Elliot Parks is down on the floor. Oh, Parks is hurt, but it looks like he is limping here as ODB misses the shot. I think he's holding on to his ankle. Uh, everything looks good for two-time local MVP Bobby Ray Parks, but Coach Jimmy decides to put him, to bring him back to the bench to get him checked. But look at this run, only a one wow. point. And if Marcus Elliott would have hit that shot from the outside, would have given them the lead. Parks getting sandwiched there on the dive for the ball, on the scramble, holding on to that right ankle. Mikey, Mikey is going to be checked on the bench. So I hope that everything is okay for Bobby Ray Parks. Ivano, Bogman, easy hoop. Nice find there for Ethan Alvano, and I was just about to say, no Ray Ray Parks, no PJ Ramos in this juncture of the third quarter, but Ethan Alvano making, making things happen. ODB accelerating and scoring with the left hand. <laughs> oh, pass, it crashes down. And he is slow to get back on the other end of the court. Rosser could not take advantage. But what a move there for ODB. Again, leaving one of the best defensive point guards of the league in the dust. Elliot, Elliot gets in the paint. Sending it out to Lao Tsi Lai. 30 seconds left, eight seconds to shoot for Hong Kong. Bassett slips. Elliot, oh, swatted away by Rosser. Here comes Alab on the move. Oh, Havilana with a hezzy. And a feed to Kaelin Chong Son for the finish. And that's the IQ of Pau Pau Havelona. 
fakes the pass, goes all the way, fakes the shot, and leaves it for Brandon Rosser. Chong Sun. Kalen Chong Sun. That was Chong Sun scoring earlier, Bassett missing. And at the end of three quarters of play, well, things got more interesting, Mikey, with that run by Hong Kong. But a quick counter on there led by the guards of Team Ala Pilipinas as we see this open, wide open three pointer from Adarian Bassett. And the world imports doing their part to keep their lead. Oh, Darian Bassett in that third quarter. Was big for Hong Kong, 22 points in total for him to lead that comeback charge. But Ana Pilipina still holding on to the three point lead going into the fourth quarter. We welcome you back to our coverage. A beautiful Friday evening here inside Hoops Dome in Lapu Lapu City and Cebu as we open the playoffs here of the ASEAN Basketball League season number nine. Rise to greatness. Ala Pilipinas, Hong Kong Eastern batting it out here in our quarterfinals. Number two versus number seven. Biggest story so far. Hong Kong with an uprising in the third quarter, mounting that comeback, that 16 to two run to pull to it in three points going into the fourth quarter, Mikey. And what's scary about that big run by Hong Kong was it happened in just a few minutes. Right. So you see how quick this team can put points on the board and how quick they can catch up to any lead. And that's something Team Ala Pilipinas should look out for. And it started with the activity of Odarian Bassett and Marco Zellian on the offensive end. So we start the fourth quarter with Hong Kong Eastern having the possession. They lose it though, Botman with great activity. Kalen, oh, pass intended for Rosser, but a miscommunication between Chong Son and Rosser right there. Rosser actually set the, the pick. So Kalen Chong Son can kick the ball out to Josh Urbiston though, but Kalen Chong Son, miscommunication there between the two big guys. Nine and a half minutes remaining. Now, Mikey, if you're Ala Pilipinas and you're facing a very confident Hong Kong team, what solution do you have here in your bag? Well, just try to make it tough for this guy, Odarian Bassett against Pao Pao Velona. Look at that shot. That was just, yeah. that was a very tough shot, but he makes it look so easy with the, that quick jumper to get off his feet and hit jumpers above anyone. It's easier said than done. Look at this. Guarding and trying to stop Odarian Bassett. And that's perfect defense for Pao Pao Havilona. Staying in front of Odarian Bassett the whole time. Not giving him space. But again, that quick jump, that quick pull up. Mm -hmm. Put to good use by Odarian Bassett. ODB feeling it. 24 points now and that fireball releases. No good. Havilona, one of the smallest guys on the floor, ends up with it. Havilona on the Euro. Swatted away by Holyfield. Emphatically in that sequence. And Pao Pao Villona trying to be smart there, trying to outwit. But 
Michael Holyfield was just too tall. Uh, Rosser off the feed by Avilona. Top of Avilona putting in some quality minutes, finding the open guys, attacking the basket, being aggressive on the offensive end for Alab. And this is good. This is a good way to for, for the other players or the starters to put in some rest. Rosser with impact points off the bench and a miscommunication this time on the side of Vongo. That was local to local. As Rosser here lays it up and in for Ana Pilipina. Seven points off the bench for Brandon Rosser and a perfect setup job for Pau Pau. And here it comes. San Miguel Ala Pilipina has another chance here to extend this lead against this 2-2. 2-2-1. Two -two. Two -two Half court press down to a 2-3. Ah, good ball movement from Alam and they find Buckman inside. And that's exactly what they need to do. Move the ball around, especially without BJ Ramos on the floor. They need to move the ball around, move the, move the zone defense from side to side and find Ronaldo Buckman. Oh, ODB oh. dancing and scoring for Hong Kong. ODB, the dance instructor from Hong Kong putting the guards of Team Alab Pilipinas on skates, possession after possession. My goodness, ODB just relentless in this one. Havilona with a ball fake, decides to shoot and knocks it down to the Pablo Havilona on the offensive end, just being smart out there, picking his spots. Another pass fake, leaving him wide open for that triple, but down the floor he will have to check Oh, Darian Bassett. Adam Z will try and drop it in. And again, that was a result of the attacking yeah. prowess of Darian Bassett. Breaking the defense down, leaving his teammates wide open. Here's Ronaldo. A couple of crossovers on his way to the hoop. Bogman still down on the floor here. But look at this move. <laughs> by Odarian Bassett on Pau Pau Havilona. And Pau Pau making up for it on the other end with a ball fake and the three-pointer. What a matchup here. Another defensive-minded point guard being challenged by Odarian Bassett. But Pau Pau Havilona showing, showing everyone that he can also score the basketball. But Odarian Bassett, not only is hesitation deadly, it's that the way he stops on a dime and changes direction. The timing. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna really make you, you really, yeah, really makes you commit. He's gonna make you lean forward, lean on one side right. and take the ball back, go the other, and quickly get up off his feet for that jumper. And it that seems goes. simple when you talk about yeah, it, but, but, <laughs> but it's not. It's really it's, unguardable. It's just pure <laughs> talent for Odarian Bassett. That's how he is doing it. And a hard work, of course. There's ODB, Bonkman nailing two free throws. Five point lead for Ala Pilipinas. <coughs> Elliot attacking Kalen. Elliot draws the foul on Chung Son. And Marcus Elliot fresh off the bench, right away given the basketball, given the green light and the space to attack. Kalen Chong Son, two free throws here for Marcos Elliott. A chance for them to cut into this lead, put it down to a single possession. Marcos Elliott at the free throw line. As we see, one of the guys, one of uh, the yeah. same mold as a uh, Lawrence, as a uh, Kalen Chong Son and a Brandon Rosser, Lawrence Domingo, battling that MCL injury. He sustained against the Macau Black Bears, so he's still hoping, though, Mikey, that if they go Back. deep into the playoffs, that he can make his return. 75-72. Avilona. Oh, slips. Flips it up, no good. Oh, Kaelin Chong Sung. Heck of a put back there. Papa Avilona just being aggressive gives his team a chance to score, attracting Michael Holyfield in that possession as ODB. He's feeling it. 
just putting everyone to school. Can you imagine how bad Coach Jimmy Alapag just wants to enter the floor yeah. and guard Odarian Bassett? Right. <laughs> <laughs> you feel for Coach Jimmy now and for the guards of Ala Pilipinas. 29 points for ODB tonight. Bogman steps back, back rims on one, but again, Kalen keeps it alive. Ball is saved to Rosser. Avilona with space, bouncing into Kalen. Chong Son fires. Too strong, or And foul's gonna be given up here by Pau Avilona. And Hong Kong doing a good job. Distinguishing a shot that they will live with. And leaving Kalen Chong Son wide open for that triple. No one challenging the shot, everyone. Boxing out their guys, getting that defensive rebound after an extra possession gotten by the players of Team Ala Pilipinas. And here, a chance for them to tie this ball game or even take the lead. Right. They've done so well here in the second half of and visiting squad. Ray Ray Parks is now checking on Darian <laughs> Bassett. That'll be a good matchup here. Holyfield, easy hoop underneath. Nice find there for Marcus Elliott. Just as PJ Ramos is set to check back in the ball game, Michael Holyfield getting one, one shot up first before his nemesis comes back in. You're tied here. Oh! The rejection for Holyfield. And tables have turned here in the fourth quarter. We are at a deadlock here for the second time in this game. 77 all. Alaben, Hong Kong battling it out here in the fourth quarter. Back to the ball game and the fans, well, they're still happy right now, but they might be a bit anxious, Mikey, because we are tied here at seven apiece, or 77 apiece after Alab being ahead by as many as 15 points in this ball game. Hong Kong Eastern really making a big challenge here on the road against the defending champs. I'm sure these are mixed emotions from the crowd here in Cebu because they want Alab to win, but Hong Kong just made this game a lot more exciting for the last five minutes of the game. And Michael Holyfield with a couple of big plays on both ends of the floor, scoring and blocking on the defensive end. 77 all. Under five minutes remaining. Oh, PJ and Holyfield. Again, getting tangled up. Oh, they're gonna finish this game the way they started it, on each other's faces. Mm -hmm. Talking about Michael Holyfield and PJ Ramos. Foul called against Michael. Ronaldo looking for a teammate. Finally getting it to Parks. Ray Ray, six seconds to shoot for Alab. Parts to Bogman. Bogman nails the floater. That was nice defense there for 23 seconds by Hong Kong. But that gamble on the steal by Sue. Is ODB. Ooh! Rejected. Set back. And PJ Ramos rarely challenges those layups, but he has seen. He was on the bench for a couple minutes. He saw how Darren Bassett was having his way down there. And how about the non-reaction from PJ Ramos right after? As if nothing happened. As if they didn't get that big block. Ala Pilipinas ahead again by two going into this timeout.
back to the ball game. And Isla Pilipinas gaining cushion in this game. 79 to 77. The Hong Kong Eastern will have it in the next possession. Look at this. That gamble by Sue leaving Ronaldo Bachman with that wide open lane. And talking about wide open lanes, PJ Ramos made sure he shut the door on that Bassett drive. But you know that Odarin Bassett will not, will not stop attacking. Right. Even though PJ Ramos will try to take control of the paint here defensively. So 79 77, catch and shoot drawn up off the timeout. Ineffective for Hong Kong. Not the best shot there, still 12 seconds on the shot clock. That was an important possession too for Hong Kong. Ray Parks. Back to Parks here. Ethan. Ivano goes to the corner. Five seconds to shoot for Ala PJ inside. And that's a bump. And ball will go the other way. And despite all the extracurricular activities between Michael Holyfield and PJ Ramos, Holyfield has really stood his ground against PJ Ramos all game long. Right. Adam Zhu for three, for the lead! And again, Otarian Bassett sucking the defense in, leaving his teammate wide open. Oh, but Baldwin getting it right back. Marcus looking for the offensive foul on Baldwin, but none will be given. But that was just a mismatch down low between Baldwin and Marcus Elliott as two-time local MVP Ray Ray Park is a little too aggressive but oh, Darian Bassett again finding the open man kicking the ball out the same way Ronaldo Bachman taking control of that mismatch taking advantage and giving his team this one-point lead 81 to 80 in the home stretch of this game home stretch time here in Cebu that's his trip by Ethan, but he will be called for the foul. Marcus Elliott attacking the basket again. Fishing for that foul against Ethan Alvano as we look at this trip by Ethan Alvano. He did get part of Marcus Elliott's arm there. A chance for Hong Kong to again retake this lead right. after being down for almost the whole game. Marcus Elliott was perfect, Mikey. Before that Before miss. I said something. <laughs> I'd have been might have jinxed it, Mikey. It's a little bit. But still another free throw here for Marcus Elliott. And a chance to tie this ball game up at 81 apiece with three minutes left in this first matchup for this three-game series between Hong Kong and Team Ala Pilipinas. Elliott, two for two. Approaching. Three minutes left. Ray Parks to Ronaldo. Bachman against Elliott. And that's that. It's Bachman's turn to draw the foul on Elliott. So Ronaldo forcing the issue. A baseline inbound for Ala Pilipinas. Just a tall, tall order here. Marcus Elliott, Ronaldo Baltman using his wit there. PJ unable to score. Baltman a the feed to Ramos. Ramos carving space underneath. And PJ Ramos, just when they needed it the most, scoring down low for San Miguel Ala Pilipinas. Pass it, pass it, oh, that rolls out. That is denied by Perks. Crafty move though for Italian Bassett. Hesitating, using the off hand and the off leg. But more importantly, they get this basketball back. Crowd chanting defense. ODB on top against Ronaldo. Bassett fires, no good. Elliott gets it back. 
Elliott gets the screen, the kick out. Back outside to Marcus. Five seconds to shoot, Elliott fires. Back rip side run. Oh! Holyfield able to tip it in. And Holyfield, the activity of the guy. Just giving his team chance after chance. And that time, just tipping the ball. Oh, it was B.J. Ramos yeah. actually who tipped the basketball in. Might have got it a hand in it, but it will count for Michael Holyfield. And all the ball, but they're heading to the free throw line here, Mikey. 83 apiece. And that was a good decision there for Ronaldo Bachman attacking Marcus Elliott right away even before Michael Holyfield can get himself underneath the basket and challenge that shot. Bachman with a crucial free throw. Composed as ever. Bachmania hitting that first free throw. GP Ramos here getting instructions from coach Jimmy Alapaga on the sideline. Bachman, ooh, doesn't get the bounce. So ODP will bring it downhill for Hong Kong Eastern. Pass it against Kalen. Good defense here by Kalen Chong Son. Six seconds to shoot for Hong Kong. Pick and roll action. Holyfield unable to get the hoop. Here's Ronaldo. Bachman stops. Sends it cross score. Chong Son doesn't take it. That was a good decision there for Kalen Chong Son. Especially at a possession like with a possession like this, you want the best shot possible. Ramos trying to take over here for Alep. Misses on the shot. Holyfield snatching the ball. Here comes ODB. Pass it. Elliott. Holyfield underneath for the lead. Foul in the finish for Michael Holyfield. And what a quick turn of events here as PJ Ramos fell on the ground on the other end. And right away, Marcus Elliott finding Michael Holyfield running the break. No sign of a PJ Ramos. And Michael Holyfield. Wow. <laughs> Upset brewing here in Hoopsdome. Hong Kong Eastern now ahead by a point. And this is what it looks and what it means to be grinding out a game talking about Hong Kong. Let's see how all the Filipinas will respond. Under a minute remaining. Ethan Alvano with a big possession for Ana Pilipinas. Ethan Parks. Parks. Put up jumper. In and out. In and in. The back to back. Local MVP Ray Ray Parks with a big basket for the defending champions. You cover Bachman. You cover Ramos. But Bobby Ray Parks putting his team on his back in that possession, finding an easy basket for him. And putting San Miguel Ala Filipinas back in front. It has been a seesaw battle in the last two minutes of this game, but Bobby Ray Parks Jr. gets Ala Pilipinas the lead back 86 to 85 with his big basket, a go-ahead basket for Ray Ray. What a shot there for Ray Ray Parks. Hasn't really had his, off his best offensive game here tonight, but when it matters the most, he knows what to do with the basketball. Getting to his sweet spot and 
getting that jumper to trickle in. One more stop for Team Ala Pilipinas. That's all it will take for them to secure this win. Let's see. Hong Kong Eastern with a big possession. Lao Tile open. That's good. Lao Tile giving Hong Kong Eastern the two-point lead. And again, Odarian Bassett. You got to admire the trust that he has on his teammates, getting this double team between Ethan Alvan and Ray Ray Parks leaving. Lao Chi Lai making his second triple of the ball game. Could be the biggest basket of the game for Hong Kong Eastern as they take the two point advantage. And you talk about the activity of Odarian Bassett tonight for Hong Kong Eastern. 29 points, four rebounds, and seven times. Seven times, none more important than that last one. To give them this two point advantage with 29 seconds to go. And the best thing here for Hong Kong is they will get the ball back. Right. Just if ever. Ala Pilipinas makes this basket. Ala Pilipinas has the ball. Barks, oh! Almost losing it. Kalen recovers. Four seconds to shoot. Chung, Alvano for three, no good. Wow, a big stop for Hong Kong. And they found Marcus Elliott. Wow. That was a good decision, though, for Coach Jimmy Alapak, giving the ball back to Ray Ray Parks Jr. As you see this after the fumble, Kalen Chong Son recovers the basket by finding Ethan Alvano for that tough three-point attempt. And these two free throws here can seal the win. A big game one away win for Hong Kong, the seventh seed here in the ABL playoffs. Marcus Elliott, pressure pack, free throws coming up. First one is in. Still a one possession game, but the next one will make it two. Elliot two for two. And a quick timeout called by San Miguel Ala Pilipinas. Down by four, but about 14 seconds remaining in this one. And that look tells it all. The shocked faces all around here inside Hoopsdom in Lapu-Lapu City, Cebu. Hong Kong Eastern, the visiting squad, the lower seeded team, tasked with a big challenge of having the defending champions here on their home court. And right now they are on their way to completing an upset, Mikey. All the odds were against Hong Kong entering this ball game. They, are, they, are, they were obviously at a disadvantage down low against B.J. Ramos and Ronaldo Balkman. But if you have someone like Odarian Bassett and Marcus Elliott, 
who just really play playground basketball. They right. get the ball and they make something happen. Ronaldo with a quick hoop. That was a good play. What a what a perfect play there, perfect execution for Team Ala Pilipinas. And they will have to play the free throw game after this with 11 seconds left. So let's see. Game continues as we go into this break. Ten point six seconds remaining. Ala Pilipinas down by two points, but Hong Kong will have it. This was the last play earlier of the timeout, Mikey. Perfectly set up and drawn up by Coach Jimmy Alapag. And perfectly executed by BJ Ramos and Ronaldo Balkman. And a solid screen set up for Ronaldo Balkman on that curl, leaving him wide open for that quick two, but with 10.6 seconds left, what Ala Pilipinas needs to do is deny the basketball, deny Odarian Bassett and Marcus Elliott and let the others make the free throws. As we see, Ethan Alvano will check Odarian Bassett, Kalen Chong Son is on Marcus Elliott. But coach, oh, almost. Yeah, that's a turnover for Hong Kong. Wow. Wow. That's wow. a big development here, Mikey. That's a big boo-boo there from Hong Kong as, as Marcus Elliott and Adarin Bassett. Let's see. ODB contesting that it was touched first by Ethan. Uh, Ethan Alvana did not touch that basketball. That was the right call by the referees. So Ala Pilipinas with a glimmer of hope. Eight seconds remaining. They will have it. Who will they go to? That is the question. And no time out for Coach Jimmy. Here we go. Parks has it. Ray Ray. Four seconds to shoot. Parks has to put one up. Parks for the time. No! And Hong Kong Eastern will hold on and complete the upset over Ala Pilipinas. And just a little passive there is Ray Ray Parks. He actually had the shot, but he was looking to pass to either PJ Ramos or Ronaldo Balkman. But what an upset as we look at this final play. Ray Ray Parks attacking. He actually had the shot there. And he was given this tough one against the long arms of Michael Holyfield. But what an upset. What a grind out win led by that guy, Otarian Bassett, as they go home to their home floor with this 1-0 lead against the defending champions. 90-88 is our final score. Hong Kong Eastern getting game number one. And an upset right away here in the ABL 9 playoffs. Why not? Defending champions, their backs against the wall going into game number two. What a crazy game. The momentum just shifts from one team to the other. It was all, there were times, there were points in the game that we thought Ala Pilipinas was going to win this easily. Right. But midway through the third quarter, Odarian Bassett, Bassett and Marcus Elliott put their foot their feet on the pedal, making tough shots like this and taking everyone to school is Odarian Bassett. And Mikey, it started with that third quarter when Hong Kong went to a 16-2 run to inch closer in that game. And ODP 
is our chosen best player of the game, no question. ODB tonight, 29 points, four rebounds, seven assists, and two steals across his name. And those were 29 tough points against the defense of the guards of Team Ala Pilipinas. But this is it. The backs of the, of the San Miguel Ala Pilipinas players are against the wall. They will have to go to Hong Kong to the crazy crowd of Southern Stadium and go up against this team who has actually beat them twice in a row now, counting that last one That's during right. the elimination round. And Southern Stadium, well, they're very familiar with that place, Mikey. That's a very wow. tough place <laughs> to one, play in. One of the craziest crowds in the league. So Ala Pilipinas with a tall task of beating Ala or Hong Kong in game number two and tying that one. But Hong Kong has a chance to advance to the next round on game number two. So let's see what will happen in the next ABL9 game here. But Mikey, always a pleasure having you here. What a way to start the playoffs for ABL9. <laughs> An upset win right away by the number seven seed Hong Kong against the number two seed San Miguel Ala Pilipinas. A nail biter between these two teams to begin the ABL9 playoffs. Hong Kong Eastern snatching the victory on the road 90 to 88 over the defending champions on behalf of the entire broadcast team. Mike Reyes, Martin Avier, Derek Raul de Ocampo. This is Martin Avier again saying thank you and good night from Cebu and see you guys in the next game here in the ASEAN Basketball League.